France arms Armenia, threatens peace in the Caucasus, and Azerbaijan condemns all of this. French military equipment has been sent to Armenia through Georgia, Calibre informs. According to Calibre's sources, military equipment sent by France for Armenia moved through Georgia towards the Armenian border. In particular, French Bastion multi-purpose armoured vehicles manufactured by Akhmat intended for the Armenian armed forces were shipped via the Georgian port of Poti. Components for Bastion were also sent by the French company Arcus. Georgia for a long time refused the transit of French weapons to Armenia, but now, apparently official Tbilisi has given the go-ahead. We strongly condemn the delivery of Bastion offensive armoured vehicles by France to Armenia, said spokesperson of Azerbaijan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ikan Hajizada, in a response to the inquiry on delivery of military equipment by France to Armenia. Transfer of the mentioned military equipment will serve reinforcing the military capabilities and thus the destructive actions of Armenia as a country which kept certain parts of the territories of the Republic of Azerbaijan under the occupation for almost 30 years and still does not refrain from the aggressive policy and rhetorics. These steps by France, which presents itself as an advocate of international law and a country supporting peace and stability in the region, puts under serious question the efforts for normalization of relations based on the respect for and recognition of the sovereignty, territorial integrity and international borders of countries in the region, thus serving to destabilization of the situation. Against the backdrop of smearing campaign and destructive actions by France against Azerbaijan in the region, these steps, which adds to the militarization policy of Armenia, attests to the fact of France's erroneous interests in the region. Armenia and France should end armament and militarization policy in the region and finally understand that there is no alternative to peace and stability in the region, Hajizada added.